Hey everyone, it's Christy, and today I'm going to be filming a small tack haul. Um, last week I placed an order from Smart Pack Equine, uh, and it was my first time ordering from them, and I'm really happy with everything I got. Um, before I get into any further into the video, I just want to say sorry for my appearance. Uh, my hair is awful. I had a lesson last night, and I didn't get back from the barn until like 9.30 and I took a shower and I went to bed with a wet head so my hair just looks awful today and I also wanted to apologize for the background uh, my room is a mess right now but I don't really have anywhere good to film in my room because of the way it's set up like the lighting is kind of like really bright and obnoxious um, but I'm just gonna get started um, <clears throat> so I ordered from Smart Pack can't see that because my camera's not auto focusing like it's supposed to. Um, I only ordered three things, and the reason why I ordered was because um, I had a coupon for 15% off my entire order. I also had a coupon for free shipping. So um, I managed to save $4.64 with the 15%, and then shipping I think would have been like $8 or $9. So I managed to save like $13, $14, which is good. Um, and then they just give you like a little shipping, re return shipping slip, which I'm not going to be using. Um, so the first thing I ordered was um, this, and you can't really see because they smart pack, they put stickers on everything you order with like your name on it, which is nice, I guess. Um, but it's just this Deardow um, boot stretch, and I got this to use on my tall boots because they're not really like breaking in the way they're supposed to, uh, and they're still really really tight even though I've ridden in them like six times now. Um, so I just got this, and this was ten dollars and ninety five cents, and I don't know like how much like it took 15% off the entire order not off each individual thing um so this was $10.95 I haven't used it yet um but I will soon and it smells like definitely has alcohol in it um it smells kind of like rubbing alcohol so that's interesting um the next thing that I got is um, very exciting for me because if you um, have been like following my channel for a little while you know that I am in the process of getting a saddle um, <clears throat> excuse me so I bought this it is just a brass nameplate um, it's a saddle nameplate and this was also ten dollars and ninety five cents and it's just called the saddle nameplate in brass and the text is in Roman um, I don't know if you can let me see if I can get this to manually focus no um, but yeah, I wish my camera would focus, but it, um, it's very nice. It's notched on both sides, um, and it's quite nice. You can kind of see the font right there. Um, so yeah, and also came with two little screws, but they look kind of not very sturdy, so I might have to look into getting better screws. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um... The next and last thing I got is something I really didn't need, but I just wanted it, and it's feeding my obsession, and I already have way too many of these, but I don't know, you can never have too many, right? So I got this, um, it is the, um, I call it Letia, it's, I don't know, Letitia, I don't know, uh, it's the Letia Collection by Union Hill. And it's uh, Cool Max, and it is in the color baby blue. And 
Um, this is what it looks like. The ears are humongous. Um, and it's, I really like it because it's really well made. Like you can tell like it's a really good material. It's going to hold up. Um, and it does have the Cool Max lining, which does make it like kind of heavy. Um, and I don't know, I kind of feel like this might make your horse sweat more. Um, but I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. Um, it just says Cool Max here behind where the ears are. And then it has the Lydia collection right here. <clears throat> um, it does have the little um, tassel thing. I'll probably cut this off because I find them really annoying and they're pretty de they're relatively dangerous. Um, so yeah, this is just what it looks like again. And this was $19.95, which um, I thought was a pretty good deal because I've seen the Ledia these exact bonnets for $30 elsewhere. So I don't know. I just figured I'd get it. I like the color and I have an obsession with these. Five, like with five bonnets in general, not the lighty ones. Um, so the next thing I got, um, the next few things I have to show you aren't from tax stores. They're just from regular stores. Um, the first is this belt and I used it last night. And it's just a black leather belt and it has like a chain in the center all the way. And uh, it just has a small belt buckle. And it's, it's like a, an inch wide, I'd say. Um, and it's by Nine West. It's genuine leather. So it's black, like I said. Um, and it's a, nice, it's a really nice belt. I like it a lot. Um, <clears throat> I wore it, like I said, I wore it last night. So I got this. And this, I believe, was like $25. And then we got it on sale. And this is from Bonton, in case you're wondering. Um, the next th three things I have to show you are polo shirts. The first is the one I am wearing. Um, it's just a maroon polo shirt by Izod. Um, I don't know where this is from. It was my. It was um, given to my brother a couple years ago, but he never wore it. And my mom gave it to me to wear for riding. And it was brand new and still had the tags on. It's a little bit big, but I prefer my riding shirts to be a little bit bigger. Um, just so that they're not, like, suffocating me while I'm riding. Uh, the next one. Um, these all are all, like, hand-me-downs from my brother. Um, <clears throat> the next one is by Polo Jeans Company. So it's by Ralph Lauren, and it's just a lime green shirt. Yeah, it has a little um, American flag here, and in the blue part it says RL for Ralph Lauren. So I got that. Um, and then the next shirt is uh, Polo by Ralph Lauren, and it's I wore this last night, and it's a really nice shirt. Um, it's like this light blue aqua color. And it's really long, which I like because I have a long torso. And it's longer in the back um, than in the front, which is really nice. <clears throat> um, and it just has kind of like a little like cotton candy pink little polo dune on it. So I have that. And I don't know how much any of these were because, like I said, I got them secondhand. Um, the next thing is also kind of like a hand-me-down. Um, from my brother, although he never wore it because it had the tags on it still. <clears throat> and um, it is this Callaway um, Weather Series jacket. <clears throat> and it is a golf jacket. Um, Callaway is a golf brand. But my brother does play golf. But um, this, like, this would have fit him like six years ago. It would never fit him today because it just fits me. And he's like, half a foot taller than me so it just um it has fleece on the inside and it just has like a collar it's not it doesn't have a hood or anything <clears throat> um and i wore this to the barn last night and it it's like kind of like a windbreaker this is what the front looks like <clears throat> And then on the side, on the arms, it just says Callaway. 
and there's a little zip pocket for like some money or something it just has like little elastic sleeves um <clears throat> So yeah, it's just a regular royal blue jacket, um, and if I had to guess, this was probably um, a little bit more expensive because Callaway is like a really high-end brand in the golf industry. So yeah, I have that. And then the last two things I have to show you are handmade by my mom, and um, I really appreciate it. Um, and. Um, they are these uh, leopard print fleece stirrup bags with um, a drawstring top and um, I have my stirrups in here right now and I asked my mom to make these for me since I'm getting a saddle and I want to keep it looking as nice as possible for as long as possible so I wanted to get some her to make some stirrup bags to keep like the stirrups from rubbing especially since I have like the jointed stirrups and I didn't want the rubber to like rub on the saddle and ruin it <clears throat> and um, they're just lined with a um, beige fle um, not fleece felt and they are a little bit bigger than the stirrup um, like the stirrup only comes to like here in the bag but I kind of prefer that for right now because excuse me I don't have a saddle and I can fit my stirrup leathers in here as well so um, I just have two of these stirrup bags and um, I mean I the uh, leopard print fleece is from a blanket that I got at Walmart for two dollars and 88 cents um, and she had to buy the uh, string I think this is just like shoestring or maybe parachute cord